Check out this crazy chemistry experiment where you can make it look like colors in water disappear just by stirring the water. You can also run this experiment in the opposite direction, generating all the colors of the rainbow and fluid that pretty much looks like water. I'm going to describe to you how to set up and carry out this experiment. I'm also going to describe to you some of the surprisingly simple chemistry behind how it works. To show you how to generate the blue color, I'm going to add some base to this flask that contains a chemical called thymolthaline. In the presence of base, thymolthaline molecules undergo a ring opening reaction, and this change in chemical structure causes a shift to a blue color. Interestingly, the colorless form of thymolthaline can be regenerated simply by adding acid. This solution contains another acid base indicator called phenolphthalein. Phenolphthalein undergoes the same type of chemical transformation as thymolphthalein. However, phenolphthalein turns a magenta color in the presence of base. But check this out. Just like with thymolphthalein, adding acid to phenolphthalein causes it to change to colorless. The final acid base indicator used in this experiment is paranitrophenol. This compound also becomes colored in the presence of base. In this case, it turns yellow. And again, just like with the other indicators, addition of acid to paranitrophenol switches it back to the colorless form. Mixing these three indicators in different proportions allows you to generate all the colors of the rainbow. For example, watch what happens when we add both phenolphthalein and thymolphthalein to this flask, and then add a little bit of base. Together, these two indicators generate a violet color. In the video description, you'll find recipes on how to generate all the colors for this experiment. Because all of these indicators and mixtures of these indicators go colorless in the presence of acid, a foam paintbrush dipped in acid can act kind of like a chemical eraser. This same experiment can be run in the opposite direction, generating colors. Except, of course, to run the experiment in the opposite direction, the foam paintbrush will need to be dipped in a solution of base. But how do you generate this effect where the same paintbrush is used to generate the colors, but it's not continually dipped into the solution of base? To pull this off, first get a foam paintbrush and then cut a slit all the way through the foam. Next, take a bunch of solid pellets of sodium hydroxide and pack them into the slit made in the foam brush. You'll notice I'm wearing gloves while doing this. Sodium hydroxide is corrosive and it can burn your hands. Also be sure to wear goggles and other appropriate personal protective equipment when doing this. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base. So when this paintbrush is dipped into these solutions, the sodium hydroxide dissolves in the water, the water becomes basic, and the colors are developed. For a final experiment, let's just add a few drops of acid to each of these containers, mix up the contents a little bit, and watch the magic happen. Hey, if you try these experiments on your own or something similar, be sure to let me know in the comments how they work for you. Thanks for watching.